Perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve my cute, sexy, high pigtail hairstyle. <laughs> um, so I was scrolling through Pinterest trying to get hair inspiration for a photo shoot that I was going to be doing with Far Focal. If you don't know who they are, I will link their Instagram down below. You can go ahead and check out his work. But I was trying to get inspiration for that photo shoot and I don't know, I was scrolling through, scrolling through and next thing you know, I see this picture. I'm, I was like, oh girl, uh, we have to go ahead and slay that style. Um, so going into it, I wasn't sure what I wanted to use for the pigtails. I kind of wanted to get some bundles so that way, you know, all you have to do is just wet it, style it, go. And then I didn't know if I wanted to do synthetic because I didn't want it to look extra fake. Like with my natural hair showing and then all of a sudden a ponytail where, you know, it just don't look right like okay so I went to my local beauty supply store and browsed around they didn't really have um, two of the same colors that I needed for a synthetic pony I went to this other beauty supply store if you live here in Arizona um, I went to a beauty supply store here in Phoenix called Grand Mart. When I walked in, I was definitely overwhelmed with the amount of selection of like hairs, wigs, like um, product aisles, and they even had clothes in there, which was, I was like, okay, they real serious about getting their money in here. So um, <laughs> I went in there and found these two synthetic ponytails um, by Sensational. It came in a big pack like this. Um, there's no fitting the hair back in, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> once you take it out, just because when you see um, how much volume it is, good luck. But this is their Instapony um, French Wave. It's about 30 inches long. This is exactly what the packaging looks like if you want to recognize her in store. Now, I've reviewed synthetic wigs, so I don't know why this surprised me so much, but um, this is heat resistant synthetic fibers, so you can manipulate it just like you could um, a heat resistant synthetic wig. So I think once this texture gets a little bit more natted and kind of needs to be thrown out I might manipulate it and then straighten them and see how it looks that way as well now since I've been talking your ear off about the pony this is exactly what the texture looks like honestly when she first pulled it out I was thinking that it looked really thin in store but once I got home fluffed it out a little bit it is very very full and that kinky texture I'm just living for it's kind of similar to my hair texture I would say just a little bit more stretched out but overall it doesn't have like an overly fake synthetic shine or anything um, and the fibers when I pulled it out I was very surprised by how soft they were um, like I said I've worn this about four times now and today would be wearing them about five times and they've held up pretty good I haven't had much tangling just a little bit just this last time because I fell asleep in them and took a nap so so don't wear these to bed if you want them to last longer but so far yeah I'm very pleased with how they're holding up and they're very very light so it's not gonna feel like too heavy and you like walking like a bobblehead you know so now my hair is about I want to say four days old hair so this is definitely a good style if you're not really wanting to ha if your wash day hasn't really come up yet but you still want to look like super cute um, first things first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray um, some water on my hair just like this really saturate it it's gonna help lay all my other products I'm gonna be using down as well so I'm gonna be using this curly kids mixed um, mixed treatment for curly hair. <laughs> I love using kids products to detangle my hair because it just, I feel like it makes everything so much easier. If you don't have a hair detangler in your kit and you have kinky texture, I mean, girl, 
help yourself out a little bit so you ain't going through all that torture. <laughs> Alright, so after I'm done parting my hair, I'm just going to place one section in a small little bun just to hold its place and then I'm going to go ahead and start brushing out this section of hair right here. Now this is the product I'm going to be using. It's the Cantu Curling Cream for kids. Um, Honestly, Brendan's the one that's trying this out, and so far I really like this product. It smells pretty nice, and um, the texture of it is almost similar to like a whipped type of product. And I'm just going to apply this all over. This is just going to help add some shine to my hair as well as smooth it down. Now I'm taking my brush and I'm just going to start brushing it into a high pony. If you can't get all the flyaways, don't worry because um, you can always go back in with your edge brush and some product and just lay them down. After I put my hair in this high bun, just go ahead and twist it around just like this. And then I'm going to take another hair tie and just tie it down. Oh my god, so the other day we were at one of our friend's house and by we I mean, you know, Brendan and I, we were at one of our friend's house and we were talking about how the fact that some white people <laughs> can't grasp the concept of, um, you know, that black girls can have multiple hairstyles, like, and I just thought it was hilarious because there's so many people that <clears throat> don't really have much knowledge about black hair. So, um, it's happened to me on a couple occasions where people have like come up to me and like just started touching my hair or questioning my hair and I just thought it was really interesting that with with us having so many hairstyles walking around you know that people don't get it like it's just like if you're dyeing your hair a different color you know what I mean it's just normal to us so I'm gonna take some of this Fantasia hairspray it's the mega hold I think yes there's a mega hold a hard hold and a something else there I don't know I like the blue kind better than the yellow kind I'll tell you that so I'm just gonna go ahead and first things first take some of my edges out I'm gonna take like basically my entire hairline out brush it down because for the baby hairs that I'm gonna do they're gonna be real extra so we're gonna just do this and look crazy as hell while we do it <laughs> okay and then I'm gonna take some of this mega hold and spray it all around the base of my hair that's gonna be showing don't worry about the little buns because those are gonna be hidden by those ponytails that we're gonna put on um, so now what I'm gonna use is the got to be glued ultra G oh, I cannot even talk ultra glued hair styling product um yes i do need a new <laughs> bottle of this but there's still a little in there so i'm squeezing it like a toothpaste <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and get a little bit of this out just about probably that much put this some of it on the <laughs> put some of it on the back of my hand and we're just gonna start laying these edges honestly there's no like one way you can do edges you could do edges a million different ways however the hell you want to do them so however you want even if you don't even want any edges out girl just make the style your own whatever you want to do is whatever you want to do now I'm gonna add a little bit more of that Fantasia spray and spray it along my edges and then I'm taking this silk scarf that I rolled up and I'm gonna just press that along do one tie in the back and then bring it around to the front okay so now I'm just gonna tie my edges down this is what they look like when it's gonna just help keep your edges laid flat they won't move and the fact that I use this got to be glue gel I can never go back to like regular soft gentle edge control unless maybe I was like gonna go work out 
but this for real like holds the entire day they will not budge now I do want to say spray them with water before you start rubbing them because it is an extra stronghold and there is a possibility you're gonna snatch some hair out because <laughs> Just like it says, got to be glued. Yes, it's very, very strong mold. Okay, so now it's time for the easiest part of this entire style. Um, I want to show you the inside construction of what this looks like. It has two combs, similar to wig combs. It has this nice hairnet right in the center, so the wefts are all tucked in. They're not going to get all mangled and um messed up and the next thing that this has is this little pulley right here you can press this little notch and tighten it around your um around your ponytail and it's literally that easy when i was using human haired bundles to do my ponytails i was sitting there for a good couple minutes wrapping the wefts around um my pony so this is honestly just a breeze you just pull it and there you go you slide the combs in right under where your ponytail is and then you tighten that little string and there you go now if you want to make this transition from your actual hair to the pony even um, nicer what you could do is just take some hair from the bottom of the ponytail and just wrap it around so after I put both the ponytails in and wrap them around the base, what I go ahead and do is usually um, start my makeup. I don't want to do any type of makeup before I do the hair because the way, like with how dramatic the edges are, if you do your foundation and your makeup and all that stuff and then do those edges, it's going to be just smeared glue looking foundation around your perimeter and it's not cute trust me <laughs> so um yeah typically i just go ahead and do my makeup after this and finish getting ready to go out so this band usually does sit about i want to say 20 to 30 minutes does it need to be on that long no it does not so we're gonna just go ahead and take it off right now Honestly, with the headband on, I think it still kind of looks a little cute. Alright, and these are what the edges are looking like. Nice and dried, set, ready to go. So this is the final look. This is one way you could wear this hair. Um, I think more long, sassy, boss bitch pigtails need to be walking around because I think this style is so cute. Looking into the viewfinder right now, I think the one thing that could amplify this and make it even look more dope is uh, sticking on some like little gems around your edges or on your hair because I think this would be perfect for a photo shoot. That's why I went ahead and did this style. I wish I had had um, other type of gems to put on because I think that would have been so cute. Alright guys, well that is it for today's video. Thanks again so much for watching. If you guys liked this video, then don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.